So here's the second part of how to make a load of graphene uh, relatively safely. I mean, you're working with chemicals, so there is no safe. If you want to be perfectly safe, then don't do it. Uh, but with uh, reasonable care, you can be safe, and this is certainly safer than using concentrated acids in order to make bucket loads of um, graphene. So here is the um, aqueous bromine solution, that's bromine in water that we made in the previous video. And remember when working with this stuff, always make sure that you've got some sodium thiosulfate or sodium bisulfate lying around in case of spills, so that you can um, neutralize the bromine that's in there. You need a one molar concentration. Now the next bit actually is stunningly easy. <coughs> All you really do is um, add your graphite to that. Now I've got um, 200 milliliters of saturated bromine solution so I'm going to add two grams of graphite to it and this is a graphite powder now this is a micronized graphite powder so it's around about um, five microns per particle that's the D90 so about 90 percent of it is five microns the 10 percent is slightly larger than five microns and we take the lid off our um, bromine water and there's 200 milliliters of that and just add your graphene to it And that's literally all you do. Now when your lid's off there, you will actually be able to smell the um, chlorine and bromine that's being given off by that. Uh, it's not particularly strong, but I am outside, and the reason I'm outside is it is a poisonous gas. So it's not something you want to be doing inside or under your bed covers. Your best bet is to do it in a fume cupboard. If you can't do it in a fume cupboard, then just come outside and make sure that you're downwind. And all you do with it really, once you've added it, is give it a little swirl around. Now there is absolutely nothing to do to that. What you do with that is stick it on a shelf. Um, now I said before six hours is wrong. You stick it on a shelf for 48 hours. So just put that away for two days and leave it. Now at the end of two days when you come back to it, what you're going to need to do is sonicate it. Because at that end of that two days, what's happened is that bromine has intercalated into the graphite. So the graphite is lots of separate layers of uh, basically graphene all laying on top of each other. When you get a load of them together, it becomes graphite. And the bromine has gone in between those layers and forced them apart more. So it does it all by itself. 48 hours later, it will be done. And all you do with it then is put it into one of these things. Now this is a bath sonicator. It's not a particularly strong bath sonicator, it's 100 watts. You fill it with water, you take your bromine and you pop it in there and you turn it on for somewhere between 10 and 20 minutes. If you do it more than 45 minutes, you'll break the graphene sheets up. So 10 or 20 minutes is enough time to do that. So you leave it in the sonicator for about 10 or 20 minutes then turn the sonicator off, pick it out and leave it to settle. Once it's settled, what is happening is the big lumps are going to the bottom and the top part of it is your graphene in solution. And that's actually quite a concentrated solution of graphene that you'll have there. You can make it more concentrated if you add a dispersant in there and sodium citrate will do it. So if you add a half a gram of sodium citrate, that will help disperse the graphene and keep it in solution. But you end up with this. And that is a concentrated graphene solution. Now, it's got a little bit of bromine in there, so you can wash it as well if you want. That doesn't really matter, to be honest. Uh, and it stays in suspension quite nicely and can be used uh, as an ink in itself. Now, this is the main constituent of my graphene ink. And I use a fair amount of this in whenever I make the ink up, and so I need to make a lot of it, and that's how I go about making it. So, I hope that was um, of interest and help to you. This is all part of my Indiegogo campaign on um, making graphene ink readily available to absolutely everybody. And the um, contribution is just there, so if you'd like to click on it and contribute to the campaign, that would be really great and well appreciated. If not, I hope that you're finding the videos useful, and um, thank you very much for watching.